And the core idea is if I have concurrent transactions in my database, right, transactions that are running at the same time, what are they allowed to see and, and do? Um, if they are uh, do, trying to access the same data in, in some way. Yeah. And traditionally at the highest end of that is this idea of serializability, right? And serializability is a model or strict serializability is a model where I can pretend as a developer, as a programmer, that those transactions aren't concurrent. The effects that they have on the database and the effects that they uh, expose to the client appear as though one transaction ran to completion, then the next transaction ran to completion, then the next transaction ran to completion, and so on. Now, that's not what the database is doing because to get decent performance, the database needs to extract a lot of parallelism from its workload. Unfortunately, that strongest isolation model as, as you know, simple a mental model for the programmer as it is from an isolation perspective forces the database and the programmer or, or application developer to make a hard performance trade-off. Um, and it becomes quite frequent that one transaction has to wait on other transactions in the system. 